everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my haul from uh, July 22nd. This is all strictly garage sales. Um, but first, I also wanted to show you my haul from when we were down in Florida from the, the 3rd to the 11th. Yeah. Um, I did okay down there. Actually, a lot of the stuff that I brought back with me was stuff that my mother-in-law bought for me because I kind of got her hooked on going to garage sales and she was like looking at the stuff that I was buying the last time I was down there in February so when I went down she had this like little stack of stuff and she was like so proud of herself she's like look at this look at this can you sell any of this is any of this good um, so actually the majority of it you know was so I brought it back home with me. Uh, and then there were a few things that I bought at um, thrift stores myself. We did try and attempt the garage sale thing one day when I was down there, but it was really sad and pathetic. Um, I don't think I bought anything. No, I didn't buy anything to sell on eBay. So let me start by showing you the things that she got me. Um, I think she actually bought me a Bible, but it, it was in really, really bad shape, so it wasn't even worth selling, so she was just going to donate that. Then there was this, hopefully this is going to focus today, pick up, there we go. Um, this is the small Roman missile, it's from 1935 I believe, should be able to get about um, 12 to 14 on that. Then this one is Grace for Each Moment. This is a one minute devotions book and it's in like brand new condition with a leather cover. This should go for about 12 or 13 free first class shipping. And then <clears throat> she bought this felt applique Christmas stocking kit from Holiday Time which um, is also it's made by Bucilla but they use the holiday time name I think at the for the things they sell through Walmart and this is whimsical snowman It's actually more of a sequin stocking kit than a felt applique because all the entire snowman is just completely made of sequins that's brand new in the package I think she paid a dollar or less for each one of these things hopefully I'll get about 15 to 18 I think out of the stocking kit so that was it for what she got me and then I hit a few thrift stores um, they used to have a Goodwill right outside her development right outside her development it was like I don't know a minute drive to get over there and now they moved it like another four miles up the road and ever since they moved it it stinks I don't know what happened but it's horrible now uh, and even she said she's like I go there now she goes, they just don't have the stuff that they used to I don't know why so I didn't find anything there but I did end up going to the Salvation Army and another Goodwill store a little farther out and I found some things there um, their Salvation Army <clears throat> sorry excuse me is um, much better than it was it's much more organized They've like revamped the whole store. It's great. So at that one, I found this little rubber stamp. This is Fluffles the Cat. It was actually very popular if you can find these stamps. I sold a clear set of these that I got from my neighbor down the street for free. Um, the clear set went for, I believe, $20 with free shipping. And this one by itself, which is called Icing Fluffles, um, and it's in really good shape should sell for about 13 with free shipping on its own. I paid 69 cents. And then the other thing that I bought from there that I did really well on that I don't have here to show you because it's taken me so long to even make this video. Um, I shipped it out yesterday. It's a it was St. Joseph's Missile, I think. Yeah, St. Joseph Daily Missile it was a hardcover book, but it was still um, shrink-wrapped and brand spanking new. 
They actually gave that to me for free, I guess because it was a religious book and they don't charge for religious books. And I sold that yesterday for 50 bucks with free media mail shipping. So I was really happy about that. Then at the Goodwill, the other Goodwill I went to, I did find a Bible. Uh, I think it dates like 1953, something like that. Pretty good shape. Might get about 15 with free media mail shipping on that. And then the other deal that I found, which was a really good deal, was this set of Tegu magnetic blocks. Um, they were marked $199. The box is a little jacked up, but the blocks themselves are in pretty good condition. They do have some wear here and there, as you might be able to see here if it's in focus. But other than that, the set is complete. I was crossing my fingers that it would be, and it was. And this should go for about, I think I put it up for like 35 with free priority shipping and this will fit into um, a flat rate padded envelope but keep your eyes out for these Tegu magnetic blocks for kids these are really really popular and really really expensive um, some sites have this same setup for like I don't know anywhere from like 65 to 80 dollars it's crazy so if you can find those used snatch them up and the last thing I got down in Florida was I went to Tuesday morning because I don't have one. I have one a little close. I guess it's maybe 25 minutes away. Eh, it's not really close. But she has one a couple miles from her house. And the one that I have here stinks. They usually don't have much of anything. But I did go to that one in Florida and I found some Graphic 45 um, paper and embellishments from the same, they're all from the same collection. They're all from Children's Hour. So I got the journaling and ephemera cards, the, what is this? Are these stickers or these are just cardstock? These are just cardstock little pockets and tags and then these chipboard embellishments and then a stack of the 12 by 12 paper fort. So I'm probably going to sell all those together. It cost me what, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Probably try and sell them all for 25 or 30, something like that. I have to double check. Um, I could sell them individually, but I just don't want to. I'm going to ship them all out together. So that was it from Florida. Then when I came back, I went to the library. Um, to pick up something I had on hold and I checked the kids room and I saw this book. This is called Breath from Donna Jo Napoli. It's a, um, it's kind of a twist on the Pied Piper of Hamlin. And I got it because it's not only a first edition but it's also signed. And first editions on Amazon, I think they want like 35 and they're not even signed. So I got this one. I put this up on eBay I think for 35 signed because they're not really you know, super popular, so I figured if I put mine up for the same price and it's signed, then obviously mine would be a lot more likely to sell before the other first editions. So that was it from Florida in the library, and now I'm going to show you guys what I got at yard sales on the 22nd. I actually haven't been to a ton of yard sales this summer. I've been focusing mainly on rummage sales because I have less and less luck, it seems, as the years go by with garage sales. Um, but this time around I had pretty good luck. So I'm going to start with a sale. It was advertised as like a going out of business warehouse sale. So I thought like you'd walk into a warehouse and there would be a ton of stuff. No. It was like a industrial park and they had like a storage unit or something in this industrial park and they had taken everything out of it and put it on the lawn in front and that's what it was. They were selling all kinds of weird things. There was cookware, there was artwork, there was makeup bags, perfume, which is why I went, but the perfume ended up not being worth it. Whoops, that's not from there. So 
I'll show you guys what I bought there. I bought three of these teacups because they are Waterford. And I don't know if this is going to show up. Yeah. These are called um, Colleen teacups. That's the pattern. It's black and platinum. So, brand spanking new. I paid $3 each for three of those. And these are all things that are, I'm going to have to be patient for because these are items that aren't going to just fly out the door. These are those things that people aren't looking for until they usually break another one that they already have in their collection. Then I bought two of these little demi toss or espresso cups, whatever you want to call them. Bought these because they said Raynaud Limoges on the bottom, which is always, always a really good name and um, expensive china. Don't know what I'm going to get on these. I think I put the teacups up for $20 a pop. These I haven't listed yet, and I can't remember what they wanted for them on replacements. But I think they'll go between $20 and $30 a piece. And then I bought three crystal glasses from Wedgwood. The demi toss cups, by the way, were $3 a piece. And so are all of these. So I got this Wedgwood glass. This is, come on, wakey wakey. There we go. Covent Garden iced beverage glass. Yes, because we all have iced beverages and fancy crystal glasses every day. Anyway, maybe they do in Snootyville, but here I just grab a glass out of the cabinet and <laughs> have my iced tea. Uh, this is paper white, also an iced beverage glass, not quite as fancy. And then this is another paper white glass. These are by Jasper Conrad for Wedgwood. There we go. And this. Is a goblet. Oh. What do you put in a goblet? I guess wine, right? I don't know. I don't drink wine either. Not the most cultured human being in the world, as you can tell. Okay. Moving on. That was the warehouse. And then from there, where did I go? From there I went to uh, I went to a flea market. They have it at this um, fire station like every other weekend. Sometimes I've had really good luck there, but most of the time I've left there with absolutely nothing. This time around I did, eh, okay. I paid $7, I think, for everything you're going to see here. So first up is this Star Jasmine Tumorose, or Tumorose, Tuberose luxury gift set from Arbonne. And I knew Arbonne was a good name. And there's body lotion, powder, bath and shower gel, and fragrance mist or something in here. This stuff is potent. <laughs> I mean, if you use all these things all at once when you're getting ready in the morning, people will know you're coming from about a mile and a half away. I mean, wow. It's one of those scents that's like sickeningly sweet and permeates everything. It reminds me of my husband's late aunt. She wore this perfume, and you could just tell when you walked in her house, everything smelled like it. Everything. Even the furniture, like the dishes seemed to smell like it. Everything. After she passed, we're going through all of it. I'm like, yep, smells like her. Smells like an elf. <laughs> and to this day, I still have some things that I still need to list on eBay, like clothing-wise and stuff. And the smell has still not gone away. It still smells perfumey, though. So. Anyway, um, I'm hoping to get, I think, 25 or 30 from the gift set. And then I bought two sets of Stampin' Up! stamps. This one is Sure Thing. Uh, only a couple of these are, have been used. That, I think, should go for about 20 with free first class shipping. And then this one is brand spanking new called The Great Outdoors. Um, I think I put Camping scouting maybe in the title but this should also go for around 20 i believe it's been a few days since i've listed these things and i've listed a lot so i'm a little fuzzy on prices um then i went to a moving sale 
it was hot as heck in there because it was a really hot day and they had no air conditioning. They just had fans in the house. So I was trying my hardest to look at stuff um, without dying of heat stroke. And I think I spent $13? Yeah. Spent $13 there. First thing I got was this Hostess set by Libby Glass. This dates probably from the sometime in the 50s. This is the Royal Fern Hostess set of cordial glasses. There's eight of them in here. They look brand spanking new. They've got this white and gold detail on them. That's focusing. So, um,. I think I should be able to get 40 with free shipping on those. And then, oh, I got, actually, I got a bar of soap. That was the other thing I sold from this, um, in this video. What is it called? Pre de Provence Luxe Valensol Soap. I don't know, it was like this big, fat, 10 and a half ounce bar of soap. I thought it would sit and sit and sit in my store and it sold for $12 in free shipping like I think the day after I listed it. Then I found this. You guys know how much I love Bath and Body Works. This is an old scent called Creamy Coconut. This is Body Splash. Eight, and, eight ounce bottle. It's about 80-85% full. The bottle itself is a little scuffed up from being in storage but other than that it's in good condition so I think I put that up for 20 with free shipping and then I also found this building set which was a disaster it was in like a little plastic tote all mixed up so I came home and I organized it so this is what they look like these are called flexies. I'll show you. There you go. Flexies. And you use these to build all kinds of things. There's a bunch of idea books with it. I think there's three idea books. There's 272 pieces in this lot. Counted them all, put them in all in separate bags so they'd look nicer. Um, paid, I think, a buck for those and should be able to get 35 without a problem because these are no longer made and they're hard to find but obviously the more of these that you can get the better so that is that and the last thing I bought from that sale was a set of glasses and these are also from Libby, just like those cordial glasses. These are New York Giants glasses from, what, the 60s maybe? I don't know, whenever Frank Gifford played for the Giants. Was it 60s, early 70s? I'm not really sure. But I knew Frank Gifford's name. I knew he was a Giant. Go Big Blue. Standing here wearing a Giants shirt as we speak. <laughs> um, so I tried looking them up. I found one of these, the Frank Gifford glasses, sold for 15 plus shipping. But I found the whole set. There's Kyle Rote, Dick Modzalewski, and Sam Huff. These were all made by Libby for Shell gasoline. So I guess they were like a promotional thing. And they do have an original box that they come in. I don't have the box, but I've seen the box on eBay. Because the other person that has the full set of these has, has them in the original box. And you can buy them for a mere $340. It's like, holy cow. So that's a little steep. But I figured since I have the whole set, and I think I paid... Oh, what did I pay for these? Pay two bucks for the whole set. I'm gonna start them at a hundred at auction and just see what happens. I mean, the good thing is football season's starting 
back up again so people will be in football mode so I'll have to let you guys know what those sell for and okay I got two more sales to go went to another one found a couple things there I got this Hallmark keepsake John Deere Model B tractor ornament for a dollar unfortunately the bottom flap is a little screwed up but I should be able to get at least 10 out of that and then I got this cool desk clock it's actually a clock and a thermometer which is weird uh, but and or is this the thermometer part oh this is the humidity and this is the thermometer and it's supposed to say 50th anniversary Mustang it's supposed to have a little plaque down here which is unfortunately missing but these are hard to find, so I'm hoping I should be able to get at least 30 to 40 out of it. I think the other ones are going a little higher than that that actually have the plaque on the bottom. Um, but I took a chance for $2 because it didn't have a battery in it. I didn't know if it worked, but it does, and I'll let you listen to what it sounds like. It does this every hour on the hour until it gets dark. So that's what it does every hour. And then when it gets dark, it shuts itself down so it doesn't make that noise all night long. And last but not least, I went to a sale. I wish I'd probably gotten there earlier. It was like a this guy had collected, I don't know if he was a dealer. I don't think he was. I think he was just a collector. And they were moving, so he was selling everything. And um so I was just kind of going through and trying to see what I could find. I think I spent 15 there. I bought this old mustard container because these sell pretty well. I should be able to make about 15 on that. I think I spent a dollar on it. Yeah. Then I bought a set of Villarine Bach votive candle holders. These are from their botanical line. These cost me two. I think I should be able to get about 20 out of those. Then, oh, what else did I get there? Oh, I got these two little mugs, which I thought were cute. These were a dollar a piece, I think. These are from the UK. This is Edward Stevens and Tommy. And it says, the National Trust, Sudbury M Museum of Childhood, Teddies and Trust on the bottom. And this one has Jasper and Syringer. And these are from Whitewick Manor. So I don't have a clue, maybe $10 a piece on these. But they just reminded me of like a little girl's tea party. I thought they were cute. And then, also for a dollar a piece, I got two of these cool apothecary jars, which, if I had my way, I'd keep them for Halloween because they look kind of Halloween-y. Um, but then that would be my one Halloween thing, and the Halloween police, aka my daughter, would get on my case and say, Daddy says you can only buy one Halloween thing per season. Ugh. <laughs> well, you guys know I buy things when they're not around and I sneak them in. <laughs> I love Halloween. I have, I have to buy Halloween decorations. I just have to. Okay, I don't know what is up with this thing and why it keeps stopping all the time. I have to read my manual. But this thing records and then it just, at a certain point, it just stops. It drives me crazy. Anyway. This is a gum arab um, jar marked lily on the bottom, made in Portugal. And there's even a thing inside that tells you, like a little scroll thing that tells you what gum arab was used for, which is cool. There's crazing all over this, but that's okay. But it has no chips or cracks. And the same with this one which says 
Well, I don't even know what this is. Pulve canthar. Which I think it was like pulverized bugs or something. Yeah. Pulveulus canthar. They would basically take beetles and pulverize their body into dust and then do something gross. Yeah, you would actually take it as medicine. Or you could apply it topically, but ugh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, anyway, I should be able to get, I think, 30 to $40 a piece, I think, on those. And then I got this. I don't know why. I just got it because it looked like Jasper Ware from Wedgwood. It is not Jasper Ware, though. But it has these really pretty figures on it. It says <clears throat> Germany right here. Makeup camera. There we go. And I paid a buck for it, and I don't have a clue what it is. If anybody knows what it is, let me know. I think it's some kind of thing that like goes in the middle of a lamp. I don't know. Obviously, it can't be a vase because there's a hole in the bottom, and these things would be upside down. Um, I don't know. So if anybody has any creative ideas as to what this doohickey is, Please let me know because I haven't listed it yet. So, but by the time you see this, who knows? Because <laughs> I'm so behind. All right. Um. Oh, and there's one more thing, and I totally forgot it. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Last but not least, I bought this little guy. He's an Alpo. There we go. He's an Alpo treat container. This is Dan the dog. Um, says so on the bottom. Which it's extremely hard to see. But it does say Alpo USA. And right here really faint it says Dan the dog. I paid five for this. Probably only make about 25 or 30 on it. Um, but I did put Sheepdog in the title, which no one else who has one up on eBay did. Um, so I try to be as specific with my titles as possible because it does really make all the difference when you're selling stuff. So that's it, guys. Um, I will be back with another video from a rummage sale that I went to last weekend. I have a rummage sale to go to tomorrow out in Pennsylvania again at the Catholic school before they start school up again and I guess that's all that's going on right now I don't know if I'll hit garage sales this weekend because it's supposed to rain again this whole summer it's just rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and rained I don't think I've watered my flowers more than five times on my own it's been ridiculous um, but I would say I hope you're all having a good summer, but besides the time you see this, I don't know, it might be next summer. Who knows? <laughs> but we've been having a good time. We had a good time in Florida. Um, went to an escape room, which was awesome. Went to a pirate-themed dinner, dinner show, which was, the show was great. The food was absolutely horrendous. Went to Disney Springs, so I got a little bit of a Disney fix. And I was very happy, although I was confused because... I haven't been there in a few years, and they built the place up so much, like, I was lost for the first 10 minutes. It was unbelievable. So, that's it. Took my daughter to baking camp for a week. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.